latest game in Atlas's cult classic dungeon crawling series is hitting the 3DS one last time. After years of releases, Etrian Odyssey Nexus will be the last game in the franchise to release on the 3DS before it moves on to bigger pastures. If you don't know about Etrian Odyssey, here's the gist. You form a party of explorers, each with their own abilities and skills that you can customize, and then explore gigantic dungeons. The trick is, you have to chart and create the map of each dungeon yourself using the touchscreen. If you get lost, that's entirely your fault, but thankfully there are a ton of tools to make it easy. On top of that, combat in Nexus is very difficult and encourages you to create parties that can build off each other to make some crazy combos. Regardless of whether you're a series veteran or a newcomer, Nexus is a great title because it combines some of the best features from past games in a way that's friendly to everyone. The 3DS may not be the go-to Nintendo handheld that it once was, but Nexus is a great reason to pick it back up again. If you're in the mood for a good fighting game to play on the Switch, the port for Blaze Blue Central Fiction is what you need. Developed by Arc System Works, Central Fiction is a 2D fighting game that is as technically demanding as they come. With a roster of 36 characters to choose from, you can play a ton of modes that run the gamut of fighting game modes. There's a story mode in case you want to be overwhelmed by proper nouns, multiple practice modes to learn the game, an arcade mode, multiple multiplayer modes, and some really weird game types that will really test your might. The Blaze Blue series is one of the best fighting game franchises out there today, and since the Switch handles the genre surprisingly well, it's definitely worth a look. Hunting Giant Monsters is great and all, but there's actually no but. Hunting Giant Monsters is always great, and this week God Eater 3 delivers that in spades. Long story short, God Eater 3 is set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland where humans are barely surviving against attacks by giant monsters called Aragami. You are one of the unlucky people who can use special weapons called God Eaters, and your job is to go down and hunt bigger and bigger targets. There's a wide variety of weapons to choose from, and each of those weapons has their own forms for you to use. You can take a pair of massive swords that can turn into a laser cannon, an axe that can become a chain gun, and, well, you get the idea. This action is fast and smooth, and you can hook up with up to eight other players in multiplayer missions to truly test your skills. This is the first God Eater game built with consoles in mind, so there's a lot of upgrades to the visuals and gameplay to take advantage of current gen hardware. And like I said, hunting giant monsters is always fun, so what are you waiting for? In the mood for a classic RPG, but you're not sure whether to play an old game or something newer? Try Evil Land, because this game features the evolution of video games through three decades. No, seriously, Evil Land starts out with 8-bit graphics and turn-based battles, but the graphics and gameplay will change the further you advance. Eventually, that means you'll be in HD, fully explorable world with action combat. Pretty neat, right? Evil Land Legendary Edition also isn't just one game. It collects both Evil Land and Evil Land 2 for the first time, meaning you get to experience two similar yet stylistically different games for the price of one. Honestly, Evil Land 2 has much more features, such as time travel and multiple endings, and a more evolved story than the first, but that doesn't mean you should skip the first one. In any case, Evil Land Legendary Edition is perfect for those looking for some RPG nostalgia this February.